Hello folks and welcome to App Screencast, Danny here. In today's video I'm going to show you an application called Quick Weather Mini for the Mac. Now basically all this application is, is a widget that appears on your desktop giving you today's weather. Also it gives you a 4 day cast of the weather for that week. So let's double click it and launch the application. And as you can see here we've basically got a widget showing today's weather. Also we get to see the temperature and so on. So as you can see today's partly cloudy. Also we can see the area in which the weather has been taken from. If we hover over the widget we can actually see a four day cast of the week's weather. Now as you can see here we can see Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday. Now also we can see some more facts about the weather um, if you wish to and obviously we can see the temperatures and so on. Now that is pretty much the application summed up. It's a really simple application but I just really like the way it shows you the weather in a visual form and you've basically got that information there at all times so when you boot your computer up you get to see what the weather is going to be like for that day and for that week. Now at night time it will actually show a moon instead of basically clouds or the sun it will show the moon which is quite cool. Now if we go into preferences we've got a few options here we can tweak. We can actually add more than one location so at the minute I've got it set by GPS to find my area and it shows the Pontefract area where I live. Now if I wish I can add more um, areas so let's choose a different city and we'll go for New York for this example I'll we'll search for New York, add it, and we'll set it as default. So as you can see here, now it will change and show me the weather for New York. So in currently in New York, it's 5 Celsius, minus 5 Celsius, I should say. And we can hover over it and we can see the week's weather. And as we can see on Tuesday, it looks like rain and snow showers. So pretty cool. If we want to quickly change back to my current location, we can do by selecting it from the menu bar. Also, if we go into preferences, we've got a few more tweaks we can make, such as we can get the application to start logging. We can choose also if to show the city name or not. I always have that showing, I prefer it that way. Also, we can choose how often the actual um, application will re refresh and update the weather for us. Now, we can also go to units, which will allow us to choose basically from Fahrenheit to Celsius, whatever you prefer. Also, for distance and speed, we can change it from metric to imperial if you prefer. So that's the application basically summed up. Really simple application but I think it's a great way to basically see what the weather's going to be like for that day. Um, definitely be going on to other websites and that every time you want to see the weather. It's always there when you need to know it. Now you can get the application from the Mac App Store and it is £1.49 in the UK so it's a really cheap little application but um, I think it's really cool and very well done. So yeah, thanks for watching this video everyone. If you did like it then please like and subscribe. Also if you're wishing you can follow me at Twitter at twitter.com slash appscreencast. So I'll see you later. Have a good day.